So one, I shoot past, whoop, kink, he runs into the blade. I release, I put back two. I use the Pentagon to go past, to drop, and to cut. Three, I can steer, shoot, shoot, there's my position, and I can lock and then still apply. Okay, so all of these shears, like you see from the top camera, when I'm looking at C-Lot, once I catch the angle and I have the body position shift, that's where I can shear past and apply a lever. Boom. And then I can start to roll into these positions. I can always unwind, then come back. If I'm working as a ricochet, I get my draw, they cleave the window, I'm going to go that way, shoo, which brings me here, which brings me there. Or rather than applying it to the lock, I shoot past, and then I have my turn. As I come through this way, now my lock is here because I'm just funneling him through. And then I have these, then I have these, then I have this position again. Shoot. And I can take that position all the way to the ground if I drop it. But it doesn't change my... control points. So that's kind of the idea why C-Lot does what it does. Imagine a world where you're just, you can't move your feet. You know I mean? You just need to drop people now. Like makes a lot of, a lot of sense. If I've got a lot of space on a battlefield, that same idea can evolve differently. I can go through this way, pass you under, you know what I mean? And then release and cut. Because I got space, but dude, if we're plowing a field, that ain't happening. If I can't move and I'm here and I can't move shit, I need to find ways on you to bring you in and then drop you straight to the ground. And see, here I am in that position again. There's my locks, there's my brakes, and then I have all my controls from that position. You know, like it's all contextual, but 